This video is my makeup collection video. This has definitely been long awaited. I have had a YouTube channel now for what? two years I think and I've never done a real honest to goodness makeup collection video before so this is what we are doing today I have already done a room tour if you missed that video that should already be up basically where I'm walking you through my actual beauty space showing you how it's organized so I'm not going to do that in this video this you know I'll link to that but this video is just going to be really going through all my drawers showing you what I own. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments. I will get back to you. This isn't a brag video. This is because so many of you want to see just what, you know, what I have in my collection. I've added and decluttered over the years and now I feel like I have a really nice well-rounded collection. And um, if you want to see that, let's just get going. I'm going to hold the camera while I show you what's in my everyday makeup drawer. And then once I go to my actual collection drawers, the camera will be more stable. So I'll put a time here just in case you don't care what's in my everyday makeup drawer because I've already filmed it. But if you're just here for the makeup collection, I figured I would include it. So this drawer here is where I keep my everyday blushes and highlighters. I've got the MAC Nutcracker Suite from last year. This has Whisper of Guilt in it and it also has a blush called Pleasure Model. This is the Physician's Formula. Um, What's this called again? Natural Nude Highlighter. This is amazing. I've got an LA Girl blush here. This is Becca Moonstone. This is a Measurable Difference Highlighter in the shade Rose, I think. And Makeup Revolution Blushing Hearts Highlighter. I have another one of these in my drawer. This one, this is what it looks like on the inside. That's called Peach Kiss. This is a Flower Beauty Cream Blush. This is also from the MAC Nutcracker Collection from last year. This is a blush called Sweet Vision Magic Dust Powder. Really cool packaging. This blush is from the MAC Mariah Carey Collection. This is in the shade Sweet Sweet Fantasy. I've got uh, Laura Mercier, what is this, Lotus Pink. I've got Clinique Berry Pop. I've got Laura Mer Mercier Spice Cider Blush. Laura Mercier Matte Highlight 01 and then Benefit California all in this drawer. These are the everyday brow products I use and Anastasia uh, Brow Gel, Benefit Brow Gel, Anastasia Eyebrow Pencil, Brow Wiz I should say, and this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and then my Dip Brow in Taupe. Currently for foundations I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Pro Glow Lancome Tint Miracle Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude and then this Cover, Bro Cover Girl Clean Matte BB Cream. In my everyday lip drawer, I've got a couple MAC lipsticks. That's the new Nicki Minaj one, the new YSL uh, Tattooage Liquid Lipstick, Cover Girl Melting Pout, Milani, Urban Decay. I've got a bunch of ColourPop. Couple Anastasia products, Bare Minerals, a L'Oreal new Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick, two of the Too Faced Peach Kiss uh, Moisture Matte Lipsticks. There's one of the new Anastasia Matte Lipsticks. This is a new um, Dior. I was gonna say CoverGirl. Dior, kind of two tone. It's got like an ombre effect. This is Nars Scarlet Empress. This is a really interesting shade. It's really deep in the tube, but it goes on a little bit more sheer. It's really nice for the fall. I've got uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last. These are a couple of the bare minerals from the gift set this year. This is a use up item. It's the Revolution Lip Gloss from Urban Decay in the shade Fail Bait and then a little Marc Jacobs Mini. These are the mascaras that are currently open in my collection. I've got a L'Oreal Voluminous Primer, Essence Volume Stylist Mascara, Tarte Maneater Mascara. This is from the Face Shop. It's uh, Face It Collagen Volume Mascara. That's a Korean brand. This is the MAC Giga Black Lash Extended Play. This is the only thing I practically ever use on my lower lash line. And then I've just got like a deluxe sample size of the new Monster Big from Lancome. These are my lash glues. I really only use my duo lash glues. I don't really know why I keep hanging on to these other things. But I've got a Velour Lash Glue, Tarte Tardis Pro, and then Revlon. Setting sprays I'm currently using. I've got a couple hard candy ones. This is the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. Fast and Fabulous setting spray. I've got, of course, my MAC Fix Plus. I've got a mini of the Urban Decay Quick Fix. This is actually really nice. Well, my camera's not even in frame. This is actually really nice hydrating on the skin. Uh, Smashbox Primer Water. 
I've got an Essence Instant Matte. This is halfway gone and I don't even really think it does anything, but I've been testing it. And Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So next in my everyday drawers, I've got Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Powder, Elf Soft Luminance, Kat Von D Translucent Setting Powder, Bronzers, Body Shop, Benefit Hula, L'Oreal Glam Bronze. I've got a highlighter in here from Makeup Revolution in Peach Kiss, I think. Um, for concealers in here right now, I've got the Color Correct Cushion Wonder from Hard Candy, Lancome of Fasterness, Born This Way from Too Faced, ColourPop No Filter Concealer, YSL All Hours Concealer, and the NARS Soft Matte um, in Creme Brulee. For primer, I've got the Optical Illusion from Urban Decay, Becca uh, Velvet Blurring Primer. These are two little minis, I'm just trying to use them up. Meteorite Pearls and Too Faced Hangover. Over here I've got some more powders. I've got my MAC Medium, um, what is this called again? Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. This Wet n Wild Setting Powder, that's the contour powder. This is a Wet n Wild contouring product. It's called the Cushion Contour. My MAC Painterly, of course, and I've got this little mini Cover FX um, Translucent Light Setting Powder. This is what I'm currently using for eyeshadow. L'Oreal Infallible, I've got this Estee Victoria Beckham uh, Single Shadow, I've got Kat Von D Synergy in here, Essence Snowflake I think it's called, um, two of the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks, and NARS Stud. For palettes right now, I'm using the Satan Sinner by Kat Von D. Uh, this is my makeup use-up for the year, Modern Ren. This is all my... ColourPop shadows on, oops, how am I going to do this? From here, this way is ColourPop, and then these are all MAC. In here, I've got this, the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. That's what that one looks like. The MAC Basic Bitch palette from the Girls Collection they came out with this year. This palette is so so gorgeous. Doesn't look like much, but on the eyes, it's spectacular. Over here, I've got some sunscreen, some makeup brushes. This is my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. What is it? Yeah, that's just the name of it. NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Um, Essence Dip Eyeliner, Too Faced Glitter Glue. And then over here, these are some of my eyeliners and lip liners I've been using. My Physician's Formula Eye Booster. Um, Essence Nude Pencil, this Estee Edit double-sided pencil. This is Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which I'm trying to use up. Uh, Ardency and Monster. I've got Urban Decay, a couple Urban Decay. Uh, Estee Lauder. This is the Shuamura Super Mario Bros. A couple MAC pencils and some randomness. So this is the box where I keep my Bought it, forgot it stuff that I test for about six weeks at a time. This is the Modern Mattes eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. I've got my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, CoverGirl 3 in 1 Stay Fabulous. This Stellar Cosmic Face Powder in Haze, that's both of those are the same thing. NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in Warm Neutrals. And this is a Velvet Lip Paint from Tattoo Junkie. So these are all my bullet lipsticks that are not in my everyday makeup drawer and normally they sit on a shelf much higher up but that would be too difficult to film so I figured I'd just put this stuff down here. So I've got all my MAC lipsticks over in this section right here. I don't have too many. I've got a couple special edition ones. This is a Kelly Osbourne. This, I can't remember the name of this collection. This is a Mariah Carey one. I just changed the lighting. I hope that's a little bit better. These are all my Bite lipsticks over here. I've gotten them in different sets. I bought a few by themselves. That's a little mini one. This is a little Shoppers Drug Mart Quo lipstick. It's got really cool packaging. And this organizer here is pretty much all high ends. This is a NARS Audacious in Bridget. I've got Laura Mercier and Smashbox here. Bare Minerals Gen Nude. This one is from Pretty Vulgar. It's got really cool packaging. It's a nice lipstick too. It's just like an everyday shade. Estee Lauder, Christian Dior. This is an Hourglass Girl Stilo in the shade 
Achiever. These are really nice. People don't really talk about them anymore, but they're really, really nice. This is another Anastasia Matte Lipstick, Too Faced uh, Juicy Melons. This is one of the YSL Fancy Fancy ones, and I don't even like it. I really do not like the way these smell, but it's got gorgeous packaging, so that's the only reason I keep it. Um, Urban Decay Vice Lipstick. This is a Marc Jacobs. I can't remember. I got this at Winners, I think. This is in the shade headliner. I don't know if they still make these. And then both of these ones are Quo from Shoppers Drug Mart. They have awesome packaging and they even have like the mimicking of that pattern in the actual bullet lipstick. These ones are kind of like a mixture of Sephora and drugstore. So I've got a couple of the NYC Get It All lipsticks. Those are really nice if you can still find NYC. A um, couple of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Colors. I've got a Katy Perry matte lipstick from CoverGirl and just one CoverGirl lipstick there. A couple NYX. That's also NYX. These are all the um, Kate Moss Nudes for Rimmel. This is a really nice collection. They're all different variations of nudes. Revlon Milani Essence. These are two lone Revlon Color Bursts. They don't make these anymore and I've used up a couple of them. Sephora brand, another Wet n Wild. And this one is from Kiko. This has really cool packaging. It pushes out like that. Really nice packaging. So this is my fake Alex drawers. These were from Amazon. They're not real Alex drawers. They're a little bit shorter and they go really like far back. So it's really hard to see stuff back in this section. So one thing you'll notice is that stuff I rarely use is usually at the back of my drawers. Um, so this is my highlighter drawer. I keep all my kind of palettes or larger things over here. I've got the Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow. I've got the Smashbox Casey Holmes collab. Um, um, oh, this is a Physician's Formula Bronze Booster Highlighter thing, NARS Bonk de Sab palette, the Becca and Jaclyn Hill collaboration palette right there. This is a Clara Cosmetics palette. This is in the shade London. And I don't really use the eyeshadows very much, but I do really love that highlighter in there, so I keep it in my highlighter drawer. This is the Wet n Wild highlighter in Boozy Brunch, and then I've got a liquid Becca um, Opal, I think. Yeah, Opal. This really isn't the greatest system for organizing, but it just, it is what it is. I've got two J-Cat Beauty eyeshadows, but they make amazing highlighters, the light side of each of them, so I keep them in here. This is Healthy Glow uh, Cream Highlighter from CoverGirl, Maybelline Master Chrome. I've got a mini of the Cover FX Liquid Drops, and then a mini Tarte uh, Liquid Highlighter. Here's my other Makeup Revolution uh, Blushing Hearts. This one is in iced hearts and back in here I've got three of the Sephora golden hour highlighters that they just came out with this year so this one is this is dusk this is dawn and that is twilight and then I've got one ColourPop highlighter back there over here I've got two of the Dior highlighters Lancome dual finish cover FX makeup revolution actually there's another one back there just like that one Jouer this is in Topaz uh, makeup revolution here Becca Essence, Wet n Wild, Tarte, NYX, two NYX actually, the duochromatic ones, these are really nice. This is a Vincent Longo, this is kind of a random brand, but this is in the shade Flora, it's called the La Bella Lucha Highlighter. This is gorgeous. If you could ever find that anywhere, pick it up. It is really, really beautiful. I'm just going to take that out so I can move this forward. I've got the Laura Geller Gilded Honey, Mary Luminizer. There's another one of the Vivid Baked ones from Makeup Revolution. That one is as well. This is Tiki from Hard Candy. These are the Makeup Revolution strobe highlighters. I do not like these at all, so I'll probably end up decluttering them at some point. Same thing with the Physicians Formula Butter Blush. I actually keep it in here as a highlighter, but I don't like it as either one. Uh, Master Fairy Highlight. This is a purple highlighter from Maybelline. And Urban Decay Sin. Two e.l.f. ones. That's Pinktastic. And this one is Rose Gold. And then a little mini Becca. I think this is Opal. Yeah, Opal. This is my foundation drawer. So these are all my BB creams here. This is the NARS 
Velvet Matte Skin Tint, Rimmel BB Cream. I've got some samples in here that I should just throw away because I never use them. Uh, Lingerie Depot by Guerlain. I've got this Clinique CC Cream, It Cosmetics, Travel Size CC Cream, Bosha BB Cream, CoverGirl CG Smoothers Hydrating Makeup, and then this is a little sample of the MAC Next to Nothing. Back here, I've got the bad kids that have been sent to their room. So there is Paula's Choice, um, what is this one called again? Paula's Choice Anti-Aging Serum Foundation is awful. I've got Milani um, Conceal and Perfect, which I don't like, and Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear. These are just in here, either for regrets videos, comparisons, or just I will eventually declutter them at some point. Um, okay, so over here I've got NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. I've got Models Own Runway Foundation, both extremely mattifying. I've got my whitening drops from the Body Shop, or actually they're called lightening drops from the Body Shop. This is a Sephora Collection Powder Foundation. They still make it, but they just make it in a circle now. This one actually has like a little sponge. Um, that probably needs to go, that's pretty old. This is a Lancome Tint Idol Makeup Stick. I've got a little sample of NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which I've never used. Double Wear from Estee Lauder, CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir, Elf, uh, what is this called again, Poreless? The name is not on here, so I can never remember, but I think it's called the, Fl no, it's called the Flawless Finish. I love that foundation. I've got two shades of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is Claren's um, Extra Firming Foundation. This is great if you're dry skin, but on my oily skin, it's a bit much. It's very hydrating. Clinique Beyond Perfecting, Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin, Rimmel Lasting Finish, 25 Hour. This is Lancome Tint Idol Ultra, Dior Forever, YSL All Hours Foundation. And then way back there is the NYX HD Studio Foundation. So this is my single shadows and very small palettes drawer. There really isn't a whole lot of rhyme or reason to these um, because I don't have, well, for some people this is a ton, but in my world, this is not a ton of single shadows. I can kind of just throw them into these bins and I don't really need to worry about finding stuff because I can see everything in front of me. So I've got my four Stila Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow. Um, glitters. I've got a NARS. This is in Persia. I actually decluttered this and then I regretted decluttering it. So before I actually got rid of it, I put it back in, but I still haven't used it since doing that. So I really need to actually declutter it. Um, Revlon cream shadow. I've got a couple of these American Idol shadows from Clean Color, which came off the Shop Miss A website. This is a Josie Moran coconut watercolor eyeshadow. I've got a couple Giorgio Armani eyes to kill. Yeah, there's one there and there's one over here got a bunch of the Kat Von D, what are these called again? Metal Crush eyeshadows are kind of spread out. Got a bunch of Essence single eyeshadows, those are amazing. Two of the Tarte um, eyeliners, but I use them as cream eyeshadows. I've got this loose eyeshadow from the Balm, it's called the Overshadow. This actually makes a gorgeous highlight. So I'm gonna put that in my highlighter drawer. Uh, Rimmel, I've got a couple Urban Decay. I've got this purple one in Flash, and then I've got Lounge over here. Stila Kitten, I've got Ardency in Rose Gold. I've got a couple of the Elf Smudge Pots back here. This is a random City Color Cosmetics Cream Eyeshadow. This is in the shade White Pearl. That's actually a really nice highlighter too. I've got a bunch of Essence. I've got some Makeup Revolution, one MAC shadow. L'Oreal Infallible, there's another MAC shadow in Omega, um, Sephora single shadow, I've got one Maybelline color tattoo but I don't really use it, I've got one MAC pigment, this is in the shade Melon, don't really use it ever, and I've got one uh, Wet n Wild single, and one glitter, I don't own loose glitter except for this one and I really only used it once. This is a NARS uh, duo from Sarah Moon. This was the collection for 2016 holiday. This is actually really gorgeous if you want like a smoky eye, but um, yeah, I don't think you can get it, so I don't know why I'm telling you that. Over here is where we go into kind of more small palettes. Natasha Denona Five Pan, this is amazing. Um, palette number 10, I've got LA Girl Eye Lux. I've got this one from Physicians Formula, Essence Roses, this is really nice. This is Visanti, which is a Canadian company. 
these are kind of duochrome. They're really pretty. And then I have like pencil shadows down here, which I almost never use. I do use my um, caviar sticks from Laura Mercier, but I've got NYX jumbo pencils, which if I, I keep these because if I ever need a base, that's what I would use, but I don't really ever use them. Same with this uh, Makeup Revolution, no Makeup Forever Aqua Shadow. That's just a black shadow. That's from the Tati collaboration way back when with LOC. Um, I never use this. I should try to use that at some point. And then Rimmel Scandalize. Oh, that's another LOC by Tati. That one's actually pretty. I should use that one. And this I still haven't used yet. That's a L'Oreal Infallible Paint. These are new to the drugstore. This side here is where I keep like all my mini um, palettes, like quads and that kind of thing. I've got two self-made palettes from Anastasia. Why can't I hold them? I've got two of the City Mini palettes from Maybelline. I'm not in love with these. So those ones there, I don't know. I just don't find they perform amazingly. I have two of the quads from the MAC uh, Mariah Carey collaboration. I really loved the way both of those performed. Really, really nice. I kept one of these from CoverGirl. This is the Jules, um, two of the Milani Everyday Eyes palettes. These are gorgeous. And then I have the Comfort Zone from Wet n Wild. And then this is just a little LA Colors from the dollar store I think I bought for a video at some point. Okay guys, long story short, I screwed up filming. As you can see, I have different nails. This is a different day. This is now the third time I'm trying to film the end of this video. So don't be weirded out. Anyway, I guess I'll just continue. So this is my concealer, primer, eyeliners. In here, I've just got a mixture of stuff. Like I've got all these minis from um, the Boing line, from Benefit, Tarte Shape Tape, MAC, Pro Longwear. Um, CoverGirl Outlast, Estee Lauder Double Wear, Maybelline Superstay Better Skin, uh, L'Oreal Infallible, this No Dark Shadows, which is garbage, and this uh, Maybelline Master Camo, which I also don't like. I have a mixture of high-end and drugstore primers in here. Um, I also keep my eyeshadow primers in here because I only have like three in total in my whole collection. So PTR, 24 Karat Gold, Estee Lauder, Flawless Flawless Start. Yeah, that's kind of like Benefit Professional, which I also own. This e.l.f. Mineral, Mineral Infused Face Primer. I've got some more drugstore ones. Hard Candy, Joe Fresh, YSL. Here's my two eyeshadow primers from Essence and Hard Candy. NYX. I don't like this stuff. Makeup Forever uh, Base Mattifier. This is way better for mattifying your skin. Cover FX Mattifying Primer. NARS Smooth and Protect. I love this one. Becca Evermatte. This can be tricky on the skin depending on what you use it with. Um, Hourglass Mineral Veil. These are 100 point perks from Sephora. This stuff is so expensive but I like it and so I just get it if it comes up as point perks. Little Smashbox Mini and that's just a sample. So I do keep like my everyday liners by my where I do my makeup. These are just kind of extras or more colorful ones. So Estee Edit, Sephora, NYX, uh, more Sephora. This is one from what is it? Star looks. I got this in a box. It's lost the cap, but it's still like really good. <laughs> L'Oreal still kissing me. This is a Sharpie type from NYX, and I don't really like it that much. It's kind of difficult to work with. Art liner from Lancome. Bunch of black ones. Buxom, Urban Decay, um, NARS, Essence. That was a Rogue Makeup Revolution one. This one from NYX is really cool. It's a gold. It's called Gold Digger, I think. It's like really super gold, which is kind of rare to find. A Marc Jacobs in a green shade, and then this navy blue from Urban Decay. Back there I have just like gel eyeliners from Essence and kind of like mascara samples. It's actually kind of good that I have to refilm this because I was very long-winded the first time, especially about blush. Um, so let's go through this a little bit faster. I've got a couple NYX ombre blushes. I really like these. They're kind of interesting. They've got like two different shades. From the Balm, I've got two of their blushes, Down Boy and Frat Boy. I've got some Joe Fresh in here. These three are all different various essence products. Um, what do we got here? Oh, I took out my Wet n Wild because I'm going to be using them in my next spot. I forgot it, but I have four Wet n Wild ones. Surratt Beauty, Hard Candy, Rimmel, 
Um, back here is like various ones I don't really use. There's an All May, there's a Maybelline, there's some Dollar Store, Maybelline Fit Me, Tarte, a couple from City Color Cosmetics, Milani Luminoso. Here I've got two Tarte blushes. Couple more of the Clinique Cheek Pops. I've got three of the Too Faced um, Heart Blushes. One is a full size and then two minis. Two of the little Makeup Revolution Vivid Bake Blushes. These are all my MAC. These four here and these two here. Um, just various like regular ones, some extra dimension, some mineralized. For NARS, I've got two little minis, Orgasm and Glue, which was a VIB Rouge gift. A couple regular size. And then I've got the NARS um, Foreplay Palette, which has, that's Orgasm in it right there. There's Benefit Dandelion, Urban Decay here. I like these because they show you the color right on the back. There's Score, Fetish, Quickie, and Rapture. So easy to find the one you're picking. Two Makeup Revolution blush palettes. I really like these. They're affordable. You get so much variety in them. Uh, Too Faced Peach Bellini. This one is very interesting. It's from a company called Paul and Joe. It's got... It's got these little like Siamese cats on it and then you open it up and it's got these little balls and then a couple of them are cat shaped which is so cool and it's actually really pretty. I've got two of these Smashbox blush palettes. I don't really use them very often but they are good quality. And then Hourglass blush palette from 2016 Holiday. Love this. Down here I've got brow products, Milani, NYX, a Haley Baldwin for Model Co. I've got ColourPop and Anastasia Dip Brow. This dip brow is the color that I used before I changed, and that's how much I used up of Ash Brown. I used up quite a bit. Um, I've got all my bronzers here, so I've got MAC Sun Mask, Abeka Belly Sands, Neutrogena. This one is from Quo, which is random. I have not used it. I've only swatched it. Um, Essence Matte Bronzer. There's an NYC Sunny. This Too Faced one in Sweet tea. I don't like it on my skin. I will eventually declutter that. It doesn't look good on me. Um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and another Essence one. I've got two contour palettes here. The City Color, uh, which I love this contour shade. I don't use these two powders in here. And then of course the Kat Von D Shade and Light. A mini of Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. This MAC Studio Face Kit from Winners, which is garbage. <laughs> a couple cream contours um, from Hula, Benefit Hula. And then Essence Contouring Face Palette as well. And then these are all my uh, face powders. So everything in the pink section here is what I use for under my eye. So I've got like um, Laura Mercier, Becca, Cody Airspun, the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder, which I still don't think I really like it that much. A couple Ben Nye powders. And then over here, there are a couple in here I use under my eyes too, but for the most part I use these like just on my face. So my e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, that's Holy Grail. So is NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat. I've got two of the Maybelline Fit Me powders. These you have to be careful with the shade because like even the shade light is super dark, which is so weird. Um, e.l.f. Loose Powder, NARS Translucent Crystal. There's CoverGirl Outlast Press Powder, IT Cosmetic CC Powder, which is really cakey on my skin. There's a backup of Wet n Wild, a Milani Powder, an Innisfree, Maybelline, NYC. That one is a Clinique, which is actually really good. This little organizer I keep right to the left of this organizer. And it's really just eyeshadow palettes that I don't use very often. Like I've got my NYC Lovotix palettes. Um, NYX Event Pop palette, there's uh, Makeup Revolution, there's a little NYX palette from Holiday last year, which is actually really nice. I don't know why I don't use that more. Um, Laura Mercier, Lorac Pro 2, Naked 2 Basics from Urban Decay. This little guy here I like to use only in the summertime. It's the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. Like, it's so cute, but really, I only use these bright colors in the summer. And then a random benefit palette. So over here is on top of my shelf where I keep all my higher end palettes, most used, most loved palettes. Um, over here I've got like Estee Edit, Smashbox, Art Love Color, Morphe 350. These two are BH Cosmetics, that's the foil eyes, and then there's the Take Me Back to Brazil. And then in here I've got like a NARS Narcissist, Anastasia World Traveler. I wish that would have been permanent. It's an amazing palette. This palette is so gorgeous and the shadows are amazing in it. Clara Cosmetics, Desert 
Rose palette, which random find at Winners, but awesome, awesome palette. Uh, Chloe Morello, Ciate from last year, Natasha Denona Green Brown, Natasha Denona Lila palette. My Makeup Geek singles are in here. These are my MAC single shadows. I've got Kat Von D Monarch. I've got Kat Von D Shade and Light. Uh, Mischief Mix from MAC. These are my Naked 1 and 2. I only have one from Too Faced. It's the Bon Bons. And then the Sephora Pro Editorial Palette. And then, of course, the Kat Von D. Whoa! Kat Von D Mi Vita, Vita Loca Palette, which is just amazing. So in this organizer here is all like my liquid lipsticks. So kind of going drawer by drawer, this one has Sephora cream lip stains, random dollar store, uh, Jouer, this is a mixture of Anastasia and Colourpop. These are all my L'Oreal Infallible, kind of mixture of different formulas, um, CoverGirl Melting Pout, anything really in a squeezy tube I put in here as well, so there's Too Faced and Maybelline. In this one I've got all my um, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits, some Kat Von D, Milani, and the NARS Velvet Lip Glides over there. And in the last one is all my Bare Minerals mixture of the nudes and statement ones. Um, Buxom, Tarte, all of my NYX ones, Stila and Random Revlon. And then up on top right here, this sits on top of that, but it is not attached. This just has like all my little minis, like all of my Urban Decay Vice um, that came in the gift set this year. Most of these are like 100 point perks or gifts with purchase from Sephora. There's a Lancome, Bobbi Brown, Guerlain, YSL, Laura Mercier, Marc Jacobs. And then I've got like Bite Beauty stick type products like up here, NARS stick products, Sephora, Tarte, more NARS. Um, what is this one? Nude sticks, some drugstore, ColourPop, Quo, that kind of thing. And then I've got my Huda Beauty lip strobes. I keep them in their packaging just because it's so cool. So I just sit them in front of this. This is my one and only lip gloss drawer because I really don't use lip glosses ever. So there's just a random assortment of a whole bunch of different brands in here. Anastasia, CoverGirl, Urban Decay, Tarte, um, Bite Beauty is that gold one there. You know, Bare Minerals, just a whole random assortment. Here are also little minis from uh, Bare Minerals from their gift set this year. So there's a mixture of the statement ones in black and then the nude ones in gold. I've got my YSL lip stains here. I have one more. There's two more spots. So there's one more and one more to grow. This is actually a pair of eyelashes just sitting there randomly. Um, hard candy, just a mixture of their vel um, what are they called? Velvet Mousses, the Metallic and Gloss. These are all of my lip liners. These are just a mixture of like Rimmel, Drugstore Essence, Sephora, MAC, NYX, ColourPop. Just a huge assortment. I don't like, I'm not brand loyal when it comes to lip liners, so there's so many different brands. But I kind of keep them organized in this section here with nudes and then in the front with brighter ones, which I don't have a whole lot of bright ones, so that works out well. And then back in here I have um, like colored liners, like I've got NYX, Maybelline, glitter products, like Tarte. Um, so I really hope that this filming worked out this time because I have already filmed this three times and I don't want to do it a fourth. But if you lasted all the way to the end, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you liked this video. If you have any questions at all, leave them down below and I would definitely get back to you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.